Welcome, and thank you for your interest in MTBC EMR version 5. This next release of the EMR provides the largest collection of new features and functionality since the debut of our software, and we've introduced some industry-leading features in this release, including patient health record integration through MTBC's WebPro service, real-time claims adjudication, improved charting functionality, expanded template controls, and enhanced faxing. Additionally, this release of the EMR is 100% Meaningful Use Certified. This means that MTBC clients who use the EMR in a meaningful way can earn up to $44,000 from Medicare and $63,000 from Medicaid. One of the newest features of the EMR is the integration with the PHR, or the Patient Health Record. The PHR is delivered through the Web Chart Service, where MTBC will build and host a website for your practice. Your patients will log on to your website to view their patient health record, and this is integrated with the EMR. Let's see how this works. From the EMR, users can now scan documents and load them onto the patient's health record. And to do that, we simply scan a document, as we've done here, select the patient, and attach the document. Now, at the time of attaching the document, we can also check mark this PHR box on the right-hand side of the screen. Placing a check mark in this PHR box will load this document onto the patient's health record. We'll also select the document type of labs and a document status, and we can even send a message or a comment to the patient using this comments box. And here we'll just write that no follow up needed, and we'll click save. Now as we save this document, this will actually go in real time to the patient's health record. And we can see that from the website. When the patient goes and logs in, here the patient can see the number of test results that are available. So there are four test results available for this patient. We can click into the test results and see our actual lab result that's been uploaded through the EMR. The patient health record also allows the patients to see and edit their demographic information, view future and past appointments, see a summary of all the claims that have been submitted and amounts that have been paid by their insurance company. The patient can also pay any outstanding balance using a major credit card and also print a report of all of the payments that the patient has made to the doctor's office. Another new feature in the MTBC EMR 4.0, patch number 5, is real-time claims adjudication. This is the process whereby claims are submitted in real time to a payer for adjudication. A claim can be submitted while the patient is still in the office and a payment status can be determined along with the patient's responsibility or the patient's portion of the claim. Here we can see on a patient's demographic for Joseph Thompson. We can see the insurance that's available on his record. We also have a column that tells us if the claim is ready for RTA or real-time adjudication. Here we can see that his claim is ready for RTA. Once we've processed this patient's diagnosis and procedure information, we can enter them into the claim form. And here we can see that the patient already has a number of diagnoses selected as well as a procedure. We can add additional procedures on top of this if we like, or we can simply use these procedures that are already selected. 
To add another procedure, we can simply put a check mark in the code for the respective procedure. Or, if we want to search our existing codes, we can scroll the lists. Or if there are codes that aren't on our list that we'd like to search for, we can use the search tool at the top of the list to add a new code. If we're ready to submit this claim to the insurance company to determine the patient's responsibility, we'll simply review our entries and then click the Save button. Upon clicking the Save button, we'll receive a message that this claim is RTA ready. How would you like to submit the claim? Here we have an option to submit it through RTA or use the standard MTBC submission. Let's go ahead and use the RTA submission. Once we click the RTA submission, the claim will process to the insurance company and will determine the actual copay amount for the patient as well as the patient's deductible and will let us know the patient liability amount which is the amount that we should collect from the patient today. The details at the bottom of the claim show us the procedure and payment information that were processed. Now this being a demo there is no CPT level information here but when you submit the claim, you will see the actual CPT codes that you've selected, the service dates that you've entered, and any additional information that were submitted. Upon submitting this claim, we can notify the patient now that the patient owes $43.05 as a result of today's visit. Charting in the EMR is quick and easy. Here we have a patient demographic screen where we can see all of the patient demographics in one place. Additionally, we also have space for a patient picture. Using a normal webcam at the front desk, you can take a patient picture. From the patient demographic screen, we can quickly go into a patient's chart and begin documenting the clinical aspects of today's visit, including reason for visit, vital signs and allergies, past medical history, social and family history, review of systems and physical exam, and plan of care. All of these items are accessible with one click. To view a patient's plan of care or current medications, simply click on plan of care and scroll the list of the current medications. To prescribe a new prescription, simply click into the medicine window and select the patient's formulary benefit plan. If none is available, click Use None. Then, using your My List or Favorites list, select a medication. Immediately, you'll be presented with Drug to Disease, Drug to Drug, and Drug to Allergy warnings. The SIG will auto populate along with quantity and day supply if they've been selected as part of your favorites or my list. If you're happy with this prescription, go ahead and click on OK to submit this prescription to the pharmacy. If, however, you have warnings for any of the existing medications, you'll need to override those warnings first or choose a different medication. And here we can see the patient has an allergy to penicillin and we cannot prescribe amoxyl. If we're satisfied with our medication selection, click on OK to submit this prescription directly to the patient's pharmacy. We also might notice that the patient has some existing alerts. Clicking on the alerts button will prompt us to what type of alerts are on this patient's record. Here we can see the patient is due for a mammogram, a lipid panel, and a pelvic screening. After entering the templates and completing the review of systems and physical exam, we can forward this off to another provider simply by using the final note view and the fax module. Clicking fax from the EMR will forward this note directly to the referring physician or to any physician of your choice. 
Completing the review of system and physical exam is quick and easy using standard templates in the system. Additionally, we can import a previous physical exam just by clicking Previous Physical Exam. Here we can see all of the previous dates of service that this patient has completed. Additionally, we can see the diagnosis codes for each of those dates of service. And we can select the physical exam that corresponds with the appropriate diagnosis. The same applies for the review of systems. We can select a review of systems that corresponds with the appropriate diagnosis. And we can see the final note view. If we're satisfied with this note, we can save the note and continue on with the next patient. Any scanned documents for this patient can be located in the Patient Documents tab, where we can see the existing documents available for this patient. These documents can also be printed and forwarded to the necessary providers. One of the great new features of the MTBC EMR is the ability to use templates for documenting a patient visit. Here we have a visit date. And let's go ahead and open up today's chart. If the patient is coming in for a specific reason that we are already well aware of, we can use a specific template to document that patient's visit. Clicking on the Save and Retrieve Template button opens up our Chart Template Wizard. Here we can choose from a long list of pre-installed templates that allow for quick and easy charting of today's visit. To select a template, simply find the template in your list and click Apply Template. It'll prompt you and click Yes. And now this template has been applied to this patient's note. To make changes to any specific section, simply go to the final note view and click into the section where you want to make your updates. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the MTBC EMR. Give us a call today to find out how we can help you get started and also how you can earn your meaningful use incentive for 2011.